What's up guys, Dave from Six Strength Center, coming to you live again from this channel I created. Today is the first video that you're going to see of my DIY guitar kit and my progression as we go along. <laughs> Tip number one that I will give you, since this is the very first time I've done this uh, ever, is do not use uh, RIT dye because it absolutely sucks. Yeah, don't do it, don't do it, because you're going to have like nightmares you're going to be like broken down you're just going to have a hard time because you know you spend money on this project and you want to look good and things happen and <sighs> anyway uh so it doesn't turn out too bad but you'll see it in the video um this video you're just going to see some uh preparation to the body sanding adding some color so this is probably i don't know you'll see four more videos, five more videos, well, I don't know, we'll see what happens, but, uh, yeah, so watch the video, let me know what you guys think, drop a like, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and hey, subscribe to see what happens, to see if I make it through this project or not, <laughs> I don't know, and thank you to all my new subscribers that have subscribed, subscribed to me recently, I really appreciate it, thank you so much, um, so, yeah, boom, boom, let's watch the video. Okay guys, so here we go. Um, you can see, here's the neck. I got it all taped off with the uh, uh, the frog tape uh, over the binding and things like that. I've been doing some sanding, getting uh, things like nice and smoothed out. Um, ready to go. So I covered up this part here, because this part, like when for later when I go staining and stuff, I don't want to get this part, because this part I got a glue to put into the into the cavity here to uh, you know make sure the neck sets up good. But um. Overall, I think this thing's looking really good. I'm just kind of uh, lightly going over things and been sanding for a little while. Just uh, getting ready to um, wipe it all down. Now, be taping off around the binding here to get ready to add some color. So, I'm going to do a little more sanding real quick and then uh, I'll be taping it off and we'll go from there. So yeah, I am using 220 grit on this, and I'm not really pushing hard, I'm just, just really just trying to give it a nice smooth feel to it, and I mean, it's really smooth. And uh, you know, a lot of people on the videos I've watched, they use a grain filler, or you know, to try to fill the grain. I don't notice any major spots, especially in the front here, and on the back. You know, I mean, I've sanded this too, it's, it's relatively smooth, it looks really good. Um, you know, maybe when I go finishing it up, I'll notice little things here and there, but that's another reason uh, I heard about the true oil. When you put the true oil on, if there's any, like, small pockets or whatever, it goes down and kind of fills them in a little bit. Uh, you know, like, if you're using spray, it actually just hits the top. Well, the true oil, you're rubbing it in. So you're filling in any like little grooves as well, which uh, you know that should look really awesome. Looking forward to it. So let's get this thing taped up, and we'll get it ready to put some color on. Okay, guys. So all I'm doing now is just taking tack cloth and wiping things down, real good. I already went over the back of it, real good, and just this just gets all your like any extra sawdust or anything, any kind of dirt or anything build up wise. I'll take it off here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape off the bunny. Got all the green on it, um, you know, covering up the edge of the binding. And actually, you know, I'll have to scrape some of the binding off the top here. Um, but this is just to prevent, um, like, any excess dye that maybe would run down the sides of it. That would keep me from having to stain again later. Okay, so we're going to try some black dye on this. Just mixing it with a little bit of warm water, nothing major. It's going to pour some in. Okay. Never done this before, so that should be real fun. All I did here is take an old t-shirt and ball it up inside uh, another piece of a t-shirt just to kind of give it some more soaking power. That's what I've seen everybody else do on channels and stuff. So there's what you get, get a little applicator type thing. Just dip in and go for the best, I guess. Here goes nothing. Let's make sure this is in the picture good. Alright, here goes nothing, guys. It's turned out pretty crappy so far. I'm not liking it. But that's the way it is, yeah. Okay. What it is, we'll let that sit. 
for a minute and come back and hit it again. I'm not liking that very well, but uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, so that's about it. We'll just let this dry up good and then we'll uh, come back. Getting ready to put another coat on here. I think I'm just going to go red, straight up red. And uh, you know, just hope for the best. So, you're good and nothing. All right. So just kind of let that sit for a minute. Um, I think right now would be a good time to maybe try to blend some more black into here. Just gonna put it around the edges. So there we go. It's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, it's red and black. That's what I really wanted. It's starting to really come to life now. Um, you know, kind of tip it toward you a little bit. See that green popping out of there? Looks real good, I think. That spotted maple, it's, that's where a lot of the darker spots are. Uh, I think the next time around, I'll, I'll wait till it dries and then I'll do a you know, little bit of a burst. Just try to, you know, bring that in there a little bit. But there you go. There's the red part of it. We're looking good, and we'll just keep on rolling. So, we'll let that uh, soak in. Looking nice and rich there now. I'm kind of liking this. So, uh, next time, when this is all dry, I will uh, maybe try to come around this edge here maybe um maybe try to put some black more another coat of black on the edge just to kind of you know make it uh, more of a sunbursty look but um i think it's really starting to pop and starting to look good uh, like i said i don't know what it is. i just i love those things right there these interior you still kind of see but i don't know what it is it just kind of gives a distinct look um yeah so all right so let's uh let that dry up and we'll see what happens next okay guys so you know i've got kind of cleaned down pretty well here uh, i've added a couple coats of the true oil and I've taken off the tape around the edges, cleaned up the binding and stuff. It's really starting to look pretty halfway decent here. I'm not I'm not sure. Um, I was going to do this like a stain on the back, but I'm not sure what I want to do now. Uh, but in between each of the, the coats, I'm just kind of lightly buffing out uh, any spots or whatever with this steel wool here. So yeah, and then, of course, after that, eventually I just take a tack cloth here and I'll wipe down my excess. Anything extra that's on here that would cause any problems or whatever. This, this is what I've been using. Uh, it's just gun stock oil, finish, whatever it is. Seems to be going pretty good on it. So there's a different there's a different ways you can put it on. Uh, some people like put it this way, and then they just rub some on and go at it or whatever. But you know, I, I just kind of drip some on and just kind of go in there and just go for it. You know, you just want to do small little circles. Just make sure you're working in every little every little crevice there you can get. Just make it nice and each layer you put on there gives you a little more of a of a uh, sheen to it. So yeah, so there you go. There's another. See, so just put the sheen on it. It's nice and shiny, so yeah, it's uh, it's coming along, looking really good. So I'm gonna keep doing this for a little bit, get it nice and polished up, and then we'll move on to the next step. Which I don't know. I'm just I'm trying to figure out if I want to paint this back here or if I want to just stain it or what. So we'll kind of go from there, guys. See you next time. Rock on. Bye.